What is going on guys welcome back to another Android application development video in Android Studio. In this video we are going to design the Instagram login page. So at the end of this video we are going to achieve this. So we have Instagram login page exactly what Instagram has over here. So we are going to design entirely this in our Android Studio. So you will get to learn a lot of things about designing in this video. So let's get started. So I have already created a project with my Insta login name with hello world and this is how our application looks now. And first thing in our app we will remove this action bar and we will make this status bar color as white. Go to resource values themes and open both themes. In light theme let's remove this action bar so no action bar and we will change the color status bar color to white. We will add one more property here that is item name window light status bar which we will set to true. Same we will do in night themes also. So let's copy this in night theme I will make it no action bar and I will paste that status bar color and here we will make it false. So let's run this app now. So we have removed the action bar and our status bar color is also white now. Now let's start designing for Instagram login page. So you can close this and go to activity main.xml click on split over here. We will remove this hello world and we will make this constant layout as relative layout. So for designing the Instagram login layout we need some icons Instagram icon and here we have one eye icon here we have one drop down icon and one Facebook icon also. So these four icon we need for Instagram and Facebook icon I have downloaded this Instagram and Facebook icon. So let's add those icons. So go to drawable new vector asset go to local file and from desktop I will add those. So I have added this Instagram logo so next and finish. Also I will add those icons that are needed. So I will go to clip art clip art and I will add arrow down icon first this one finish and one more icon we will add eye icon this one and finish and facebook icon is png so i will copy this from here and directly paste it in drawable so now let's design the page so first thing we need is this language selector that is english united states and this drop down icon so let's add that we'll add text view first wrap content wrap content and the text will be English United States will center in horizontal true and also gravity we will center it and we will add that icon we have added drawable end drop down icon. So first thing we have added this text view and the icon. Now we will make a linear layout width will be match parent and height will be wrap content inside this we will add all the views we needed orientation I will make it vertical and gravity as center. So first thing we will add is image view width will be match parent and height will be wrap content source will be our insta icon. So in this way Instagram icon is added over here. This linear layout we will make it center in parent as true so that it will come to center. Now after this we will add this input field that is edit text. So let's add that edit text width will be match parent height will be wrap content. We will add the hint for edit text that is phone number, email or username. We will give the some padding for it like 12 dp. So this is our edit text but it is not looking good. As we can see on Instagram here we have one border also and we have background color also. So let's create a shape so that we can use it for both phone number, email or username and also for password. So let's go to resource. So in drawable new drawable resource file root element will be shape and file name will be edit text bg. So we'll give the shape as uh, a rectangle and we will give the background color as f a f a f a that is a light gray and also border color we will give stroke width we will give 1 dp and color we will give e7 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 that will be gray color so radius for this shape will be about uh, 4 dp so our shape is ready which has border and background color also with radius also so we'll add this on that edit text so go here and background will be our edit text background so it will now look like this i'll copy this edit text for password field i'll hint it as a password i will add drawable end that will be our eye icon and input type will be password so that password is not visible. Now we will have login button. So let's add that button 
match parent width and height will be wrap content we'll give the text log in since it is capital by default we will set it as false to make capital and color we will set as tint uh, that will be our default color for instagram so that is 3897f f0 this is the default color of instagram as button and we will give some padding about 16 dp so it will become larger now we will create these two text that is forgot your login details and get help logging in these two have different styles so let's add those so since there are two texts, let's make a linear layout to be with match parent and height will be wrap content and this orientation will be horizontal and gravity will be center. So let's add text view. So text view, wrap content, height will be wrap content, text will be forget your login details. For another text view, we will copy this and paste it over here. We'll change the text to get help logging in. We'll change it to bold style, text style as bold. And we will give the text color as black. We'll give a space over here. You can choose a color over here. If you don't want completely black, I will select this one. So it will not be completely black. Now we will add this or things which has the divider over here, two dividers and one or between them. So let's create a linear layout for that also. Linear layout, match parent width, app content height and inside that we will add all those. So it will be orientation will be horizontal, gravity will be center vertical. First thing we will add the divider. So for divider we will use a view, width will be match parent, height will be about 1 dp background will be a, that same gray color so e7 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 so it will come here like this and one text view we need wrap content wrap content text will be or and we'll copy this view we will be below this so it is not displayed here since it has match parent width we will make a weight to 1 so that will come and this also weight to 1 so now it is visible but we have to give some margin over here so with our margin start 4 dp margin and 4 dp now below this we will add facebook logo and login with facebook so below this linear layout we will add another linear layout so it will be match parent and wrap content orientation will be horizontal and first will be image view will give the size about 30 dp for both and source will be facebook icon so it will come here and the text we will add text view with wrap content wrap content text will be log in with facebook color we will set as same same default color for instagram that will be 3897f0 we used for that button we'll center it we'll set gravity as center so it will be like this and we will set this margin some margin at a start will be 4 dp and we will set this bold so we have created this linear layout now we have to add this divider and sign up over here so let's get out of this linear layout and add those text view so we can copy from here forget your login details this linear layout we can copy with two text view there are so we will paste out of linear layout and this linear layout we will set it to bottom so align parent bottom we will set it to true so that it will come to bottom and we will set some height also so it will be 48 dp and we will change the text this forget your login details will be don't have an account and this will be sign up so one divider also we need to add so i'll copy that view over here this view paste it above this linear layout so but it won't come above this so we have to set something like linear layout we have to provide an id like bottom view so with this id we can access over here above bottom view so it will come here now if you run this application it is looking like this so we have to add margins and paddings over here otherwise it is okay so let's add those and again run this application so first i'll add margin top from this phone number field so let's go to that phone number field and add margin top as 32 dp so it will give some margin and from this password and phone number field i will add margin top as 16 dp so it will give some margin i will copy this margin top 16 dp login button also i will add this on this layout also so that we have same margin add this on this or layout also and in this login with facebook i will add margin top 16 dp so we have margins and left and right margin we need for everything so let's go to this linear layout and in this linear layout we will add margin start as 16 dp and margin end as 
16 dp so we have the margin on left and right also now we can run the application now it is looking perfectly fine so we can add the phone number or username and also the password and click on login so this implementation you can do so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button if you have any doubts and queries please comment below i will reply for you and also subscribe this channel for more this type of videos see you in the next video bye bye